I fuck with all Judd Apatow's comedies. I do like them. Yeah. But that is what ruined comedy movies. And this that is, is why I there are this. no more. I want to hear this. I'm in okay. so far. Go on, go on this take because mm-hmm. next time I bump into uh, Judd at the cellar, I'm going to have to bring this up to him. So go on this yeah. take. <laughs> you made great movies, Judd. You made, you made some of the best. But you ruined comedy movies because you made it about identity and a coming of age tale. And com- comedy movies should be like seeing someone grow into this kind of whatever better person or whatever kind of person they're going to be. Fuck that. A comedy movie is. It's just like a sitcom. It's, yo, this a pet detective. Go. <laughs> you know what I mean? A, a guy with a crazy golf swing. Go. Uh, it's a fucking, it should be simple. Four guys go to Vegas, they forget everything. Go. You build out. You don't build like, let's go with the story. Like, let's go with this person and grow with them. Uh, and that's all his movies are. And they're funny. You know what I mean? The last one, what he did was, was like, 40 year Virgin was exactly what it should have been. A 40 year Virgin. Let's go from here. That's a great, that's a great premise. And then it was like knocked up. Like, oh, what happens if you get a person knocked up? But let's see the guy grow with the girl and the girl grow with the guy. And it's like, okay, it's still funny. And then it kept going like train wreck. Let's see. Or King of Staten Island. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like all these movies now. And that's why there's no comedy movies now. Because that's all they want. They're like, oh, well, this works. We want to see identity. We want to see someone become themselves or whatever the fuck. And it's like, no, I want to see retarded dude who can hoop. Go. (laughs) Like a really who? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's a comedy movie. And that's why Judd ruined comedy movies. So you really think he ruined them? Yeah. They're never going to make another one. Everybody's trying to copy him? Yes. Yes. And you're like, okay, he can do it good. Yes. But other people can't do it good. But everybody's modeling off of him. Yes. It's like right now, comedy in the net. She did it the best. Or like with Jon Stewart. Yes. It's like Jon Stewart was amazing at it. Then other people try to replicate what Jon Stewart did without the nuance. They're just like, I'm going to be left wing about everything or mm-hmm. I'm going to be right wing about everything. And then the, the comedy was no longer surprising. Yes. But John was actually out there doing the work. Yeah. I right. see what you're saying. Uh, that, well, I don't think he would disagree with that take, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because so I, I, I it takes a special that. skill to go on that, that journey. That being said, I do like the idea that there's nothing redeeming about this character. Like really? I think that's kind of funny. Like the pet detective thing is kind of funny. Like you solve the you solve the problem, but you don't really change the guy. He's that's still what an I, asshole. I don't want to grow with him. That's yeah, what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. want to see the four guys figure out what the fuck they did in Vegas last night, and and then still be that way. Even yeah. Happy Gilmore grew, but it didn't matter that he grew. He like learned to control his temper a bit. You learn how to like... putt, bro. That's not growing. <laughs> the whole thing montage. He's like, learn how to putt, and he's at the, and it's literally about learning how to putt. No, nah, but he don't fuck people up anymore and all that shit. So he's a little oh, yeah, yeah, his yeah. But it's not about the growth. Yes, yeah. it's not about that. It's about yeah. this that's crazy a, that's swing. That's a byproduct of the script just getting to its end place. Hmm. So that's why you'll never see another comedy movie. It's over. Just then never Hangover, see Hangover was the last great comedy movie we'll ever see. Really? We'll never see another one. We'll ever see? We will never see another one. In 20 years? You know, no. Someone's going to be like, oh, let's write something funny? Bro, we're going. We're leaning more into identity. Yeah, and identity's out. not funny. No, no, that's not true. The, I Am Sam 2 is coming out. And, <laughs> you know, I Am Sam 2. What's the sequel? What's the sequel, bro? He's in bobsledder. And he, they don't even <laughs> use the bobsled. They just... They roll them down. <laughs> and it is crazy, bro. It is wild, dude. You guys got to check out I Am Sam 2 coming to the theaters. Jeez. I also wonder if like TikTok and other like external content has made like funny movies less interesting. Yeah. Why? You know what I mean? Like you're able just to get your fix as far as like laughter. And it's like if I'm going to go to a movie, I want like big multi-million dollar cinematics, like theatrics. I want CGI and the whole deal. And that's what you're paying for. It, and saying. I think a lot of the talent is going that way. And they're like, I'll just make my own shit, make a ton of money and have complete control over everything. Yeah. So they're not as cultivated in this. I will say one funny comedy surprising surprised me was Girl Strip. Tiffany Haddish is so fucking funny in that movie mm. that it carries the whole thing. Every line. Bang, bang, bang. But yeah. she is the only part of it that's like that. The rest of the movie, the girls are all like growing to be better yeah, women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Tiffany Haddish carries it over the top. She does. So fuck. If you haven't seen it, it's your. I'm so impressed. Every line she makes funny. Every yeah. fucking line. Mm. Yeah, she yeah. made that movie a hit. No, no yeah. question. You might be right because I'm looking mm-hmm. at this list. Top five or the top comedy movies of the last five years. Number one is Personal History of David Copperfield. Kill yourself. <laughs> Love Simon. Into the Spider Verse. What is this? NPR. Into the. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is ScreenRant.com. The funniest comedy films for the last five years. I can't. I can't. What find... are the highest grossing? Let's look up highest grossing. That that'll up. tell you something. Because the people speak louder than the critics. Yeah. So, so far, you're one for one. Okay. Well, no, I'm two. I'm two, bro. Two, the, the, you guys changed the Denzel argument in the middle of the argument. One, one take, you can one and one. 
one and one. Yeah, one and one. Not one for one. Yeah. See why I was. Oh, that was. That's fucking number two. That's fucking number two. That's two. See why I was impressed earlier? It's not racist. I know this man. I knew what the fuck I was talking about. Guys, thank you so much for watching that flagrant two clip. But before you go, I got to tell you about Blue Chew. You need to deliver the woman you care about the best dick that you can possibly give her. And the way you're going to do that is with Blue Chew. You don't want to be like certain DJs out here, find out you've been married to a girl for 10 years and then she never came. No, you cannot do that. So get Blue Chew. Give her the best dick you can possibly give her. And the way you do that is by going to bluechew.com and entering the promo code Andrew. And they will give you your first order for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Again, that is bluechew.com, promo code Andrew. Now go watch another Flagrant 2 clip.